Yeah. Uh, let us play with uh, some more controls. You can go here. Label is done. Button is done. Menu button we will see. Segment head control we have seen. Text field. Slider we have. Slider. Uh, slider is uh, basically, we see here, we are having the maximum value is one. The whole value is not uh, zero to 100. It is uh, zero to one only. The uh, current value is zero dot zero at present. It is zero. It is moved to zero. Maximum is zero. Uh, minimum is zero. Maximum is one. Uh, let me... You can also put the value maximum is 100. Mm. Minimum is if you want to display any image here, you can display. If you want to display any image here, left side and right side, you can use that. Uh, minimum tracking, maximum tracking, just be, these are the colors which you want to put. And only important thing is continuous updates or discrete updates. Continuous, continuous, we'll see what is continuous. Basically, this is the slider when you want to perform something like a kind of increasing the value or increasing the brightness, increasing the volume, increasing the brightness. In such cases, we use the slider. Okay, let me write a method. I will add some from handle slider sender. Again, we know we are going to connect with this method to the slider. So, pause the slider. Okay. And uh, uh, I want to take uh, a view here. The view is also a small view. It is a kind of, kind of container. Let me change the background color of this. Let me have the outlet here. IB outlet, VEEP, VAR, uh, EA view, EA view. Here, I want to perform operations on the UAV. Okay. Uh, let me print first the, let me print the value of the slider. Mm. It's under that value. Value is a property which is there in the EA slider class. Okay, I'm just printing that first. Okay, uh, let me give the connections as well. Yes, we are not using view. The connection is not good. Anyways, I'm giving the connection here. And handle with the slider, handle slider. Here again, value change. It is not touch up inside. It is value change only for the buttons. You need to use the Touch up inside for uh, for a control any for any control which is having multiple events multiple events then you can go for the value change only few are there for value change few are there for buttons uh, touch up inside let me run iPhone 11 because uh, we have designed the user interface for uh, iPhone 11. So, Okay, this is where I'm just trying to move it. If you see at the bottom at the console, when you move uh, the slider, the method is getting called for each small, small changes, uh, the method is getting called. Okay, if you see here, it is changing. Mm -hmm. C 
see the values are uh, the method is getting called for each minimal changes this is called continuous i just want to uh, perform the operation on this uh, let me take the value of this is 0 to 1 only maximum is 1 minimum is 0 the current value is 0 now i want to perform the value like uh, we have a view right u dot AV dot transparency I want to set it. Alpha is equal to sender dot value. Now sender dot value is between 0 to 1 only, right? 0 to 1. The maximum value which we have given is 1. Okay. Let's run and see. Yeah. The sender dot value gives you the CG float, but it is expecting expecting float. What we can do? We can use the Type casting, right? We use slider, go inside the slider and see what it has. Slider has a value which is float, which is having minimum value, maximum value. Okay. Is continuous or is discrete? Okay. Here, uh, sender dot value, which is float, but here it is expecting uh, CG float. So we can type cast CG float. This is how we use type casting, right? Let's run it. Okay. Uh, see here, when you increase the value, it is visible because the transparency is 1. 1 means is completely visible. When you decrease it, the transparency value is, uh, we are making it to the towards 0. So once it is 0, means nothing visible. Once it is uh, non-zero, visible slightly. It is 1, means completely visible. This is one of the examples, but uh, in real time, the scenarios will be different. You might be using this for increasing the value or increasing the brightness or increasing something. Okay. But here I want to, uh, I don't want to call the method every time. Only I want to call a method when I release the mouse, release the hand, press the finger. Now I'm disable this. Now see it. The method is not getting called. I'm moving it. The method is not getting called. When I release it, then the method got called. I'm moving it. No method got called. After releasing, a method is getting called. After releasing. After releasing. After releasing. Okay. This is how we use the um, slider and uh, progress indicator kind of similar stuff, but we use it for uh, displaying the progress. Displaying the download progress or any operation progress. It is also again containing values from zero to one. By default, nothing. I want to increase the value based on the slider. Slider means assume that the slider is the uh, download progress. When you increase the slider value, I want to increase the progress bar value as well. Okay, other way of giving the uh, outlets. Go here from progress bar. See, I'm giving from here, here also, from here also, you can give progress bar. The class name is EA progress view. Okay, progress bar is actually passive component, there is no action. It is passive component. Even if you tap, nothing happens. Okay, I want to control that by using the slider uh, progress bar dot value. Mm, progress focus is the uh, progress is the property which is there in the progress bar. Sender dot value. Sender means slider. Slider value I'm assigning to the progress bar. I'm controlling both here. I am controlling view uh, uh, transparency as well as progress. When I increase the 
uh, slider, the progress is also getting changed. I'm downloading the image based on the download percentage. I need to increase the progress status. And once it is hundred percent, that is done. You can hide the progress indicator. Simply where progress is the property, which is there in the EA progress view class object. Uh, stepper, we see the page control, page control, we need something. Stepper, stepper, it is having again, uh, up and down values, up and down. I want to increase, I want to set the value here. Let me take a label and display that here. In the container I'm putting, it is simply a main view. On top of that, I'm having sub view. Inside that, I'm having it, another view. Okay, perfect, no issue. Now let's set the sizes. Um, by default, let me put the label value is zero. Label value is zero. Okay, whenever I tap here, see the values here, value is zero. Minimum is zero, maximum is hundred. Each time it should be increased five five. Okay. I have a label here. Whenever I click on plus or minus, I need to increase the value each time five five. The step count is five five here. Okay, let me have the value multiple method calls. So, IV accent from handle stepper sender. Each stepper is a class. Okay, uh, I want to update the on the label, right? R thread, IV outlet, big. Where displayer is a label. IV outlet. Here display label dot text equal to sender dot value, which is which we are getting double. I want to convert this double into integer and text text is a string property, right? Text is a string property on label. Okay. And converting the double into integer and again converting that into a string and putting it inside. Insert into yes. Okay, and give you the conditions now for the label, label, outlet, your so and so, that is label, that is label, displayer right here, displayer, and uh, for the stepper, we're having value change event, and uh, give handle stepper. I mean, I want to increase the each time five five, increased up to 50. And whenever I'm tapping it, it is disabled. Now minus is enabled. Each time five five. In kind of, in uh, any kind of games, if you want to increase the kinds, minimum is uh, five kinds which you need to have. And uh, you can increase by five each time. Clear? You need to practice them every day so that you can write like uh, image image we have already seen okay or like uh, image of the image the content mode is the very very important to fix the resolution and we have something called text view uh, scroll view we have text view these things we see these are uh, 
kind of a little complex thing. Text view. This is the view here. This is the text view. I'm putting that. Text view is basically the UI text field is there, right? UI text field is the, just allows only one line of code, one line of text. Whereas uh, text view allows uh, multi-line text. If you want to type any kind of email or message, then you need multi-line text window. This is multi-line text window. Even text view also having a delegate. Text view is also having a delegate where you can control the text entered by the user. Let me uh, check. We need outlet here. Even outlet is not required. To read the text view text, we need we have something called text to property. For the label, we are having dot text. For uh, text fill, we are having dot text. Similarly, for the text view, also having dot text. Dot text is in property to, to read the text from the text play, text play, no, text view. Here I'm entering multi-line text. When our first line is over, it is moving to the second line. Whereas in text field, there is only one line of code, one line of text allowed. Here, multi-line text, even with sprawling enabled, even if you have more text, automatically it fits. It is basically, it is scrolling enabled. You can check. Scrolling is also enabled. Okay. How to read the text? Dot text view, we take the text view property and read that and display it. Read that and display it. Here, one thing you can perform, as we have already seen text field here, Allow only uh, for the messages, uh, we can allow only 150 characters, right? Earlier, like uh, kind of allow only 40 characters. And even display the character count here. I want to display counter here, like uh, uh, something like this, one by 40. If user enters two characters, two by 40. If user enters three characters, three by 40. Like that, I want to display. Can you guys do that as an exercise? Take a text view, take a label here, and when the user is entering, count the number of characters he entered and display here, one by 40, two by 40, three by 40, like that. And if user enters more than 40, don't allow. Okay, perfect. Text view is over. Scrolly view is the one thing which we need to see. Uh, pickers we need to see. Container. Yeah, basic controls are over. Uh, the scroll view is important again. Basic controls are over. Uh, for the scroll view, we need to use the constraints. I'll tell you how to use the constraints. Any doubts here? We'll start the next session and we'll deal with the uh, table view which is a very very important thing any doubts here using the controls the next control is thousand percent important which is table view what is the difference between normal float and that uh, cg float actually there is no difference cg float means four graphics there is a framework called four graphics Four graphics deals with the graphic related stuff. Here, the transparency is also kind of graphic visibility, right? Uh, alpha. Okay. CG float is uh, part of Objective C framework for graphics. Okay. When you deal with any kind of uh, graphics, the values are in the form of uh, CG floats. When you deal with any kind of normal foundation framework, foundation framework, those are foundation basically contains primitive data, so integer floats, characters, 
those things. CG float is part of uh, core graphics actually. Core graphics float. This is C means core graphics framework. Okay. This actually this is given from core graphics actually. Let me show you CG float where it has come from. Uh, CG load or type def type def means type type alias type alias we have seen right and I will jump there oh, you can even check the difference between CG float and normal float let me show you that but the difference is that CG float has come from uh, core graphics framework CG float and load the float and CG for data should be similar to middle CG float is flexible and good option device running where it can float it can be fixed place. CG float is flexible, uh, flexible in that uh, it's present adapts to the type of device it's running on, whereas float is always fixed present. Yeah, CG float is more flexible, more flexible in the sense the precision after the data for the float, it is only six characters allowed, right? Six digits allowed after the float, whereas uh, CG float uh, allows, uh, depends upon the device. It might be six, it might be eight. That is what he mentioned here. But basically, it is from uh, yeah. Here we see. Um, yeah, that is the, one of the differences. Maybe. Okay. Float is uh, sixty-four bits and uh, type of double. Yeah, based on the type which you take, based on the system, it is taking thirty-two bytes or sixty-two bits. Whereas a uh, float is fixed. It is only six digits after that okay yeah from the foundation source of core graphics cg base basically the cg float is actually from a core graphics framework okay whereas float is from a basic foundation framework in this that is not that much important any more words here Okay, please join next session. Next session is very, very, very important. Uh, or else, uh, what we can do? I have a text field here. I just want to enter the number. And I just want to check the given number is uh, even or odd something. Okay, button. But when user uh, does not enter the value and tries to uh, perform the operation tries to perform the operation and see what happens we need to i want to show the alert to, to the user saying that uh, please enter a valid name or valid number in this case is even this is the text field let's have the outlets here or red ib outlet v where text field, you text field, and uh, for the button, I want to have something IB accent, punk, uh, is even tapped. Okay, when user taps on is even tapped, I want to take the text. If the text is empty, let's show the alert. If uh, text field, what is that we have? Uh, text field dot text dot is empty. If it is empty, means user has not entered anything but uh, a tap on the but tap on the button. I'm just giving if it is false, I'm giving false. If it is optional and 
generally the text field text definitely contains no problem but anyways i'm using the coaching operator and giving the false here i want to show the alert alert is let me create an alert alert is a controller actually at uh, alert equal to the alert controller the alert controller is a class which you need to use to show the alerts and a title title is uh, error please uh, valid number valid input and uh, alert style alert style is alert is, alert control is a type data type right like view controller and it has a enum which is inside that we're having a style style is few properties uh, alert action sheet and alert these are the two things enum if you use style dot alert i want on the alert i want to put button at uh, okay action you alert action title is okay style is default now add this alert action to add action okay action and uh, this is alert controller when you see controller you need to remember two things anyways let me do that uh, present what it is asking for view controller view controller is alert is also a part of alert is also a subclass of view control transition it should be animated that's it alert is ready here alert is ready let's give the connections go here uh, text field is the thing which we need and uh, button is even tapped touch up inside for the buttons let's run it I'm tapping is even error is the title please enter a valid input okay here again same thing i'm entering something here is even i can perform whether it is even or odd assume that i entered uh, some junk as well it is unable to convert to the integer let me try that <laughs> if it is empty or let value equal to uh, I'm converting the string into integer text field dot text. If it is equal equal if it is failed to convert if it is Fail to convert, maybe you can make you fail of optional type. If it is fail to convert the string, enter the string into the integer means some junk is entered. That case also I need to uh, display. Please enter a valid input. Is even. Please enter valid input. I entered yes, which is again false. This The text cannot be convertible into integer. So I'm just displaying alert, even for the alert, we can have multiple actions. <coughs> and uh, sometimes when you see uh, the request is failed, retry or cancel or okay. Okay, this is okay action. Let me have a retry. Uh, how do you add action? Cancel action, let's say cancel action. UA alert action. If you see here, uh, there is something called handler. Cancel. Style is default. Handler just enter. Alert control. This is closer actually. Uh, cancel tab. If you want to perform something on cancel tab or OK tab, you need to have a Take this and add action, alert action, that add action, cancel action. Here, after tapping the cancel, I want to perform something. 
after tapping OK, I don't want to perform anything. So there is no closure here. If you want to perform anything on top of assume this is retry, then you can retry the service call. Okay, okay. Cancel. Cancel is tapped in the there is a block that got called. Do whatever you want here. This is uh, uh, alert. Let me change uh, the style to action sheet and see. Action sheet comes from the bottom. Whenever you are having more than two options to choose, more than two options to choose, then you can go for uh, action sheet. For the cancel, take the destructive and see the difference. Descriptive so as a uh, in uh, red color. Okay, you can add n number of accents here. This is okay accent. This is ABC accent. We again see the uh, the accent sheet. Alert dot add accent dot add accent okay accent accent two. Just creating the accents, adding the accents. Okay. This is how the text sheet works, uh, uh, action sheet works. Alert displays as a alert pop up. Alert displays a pop up. Okay. Alert controller, where this is actually not surplus of EA view, it is surplus of EA view controller. Alert to view controller. Alert view controller. Alert controller is the plus of UI view controller. Wherever you see view controller, you can remember that that can be presented. That can be presented. Clear. Uh, let me create a few controls to programmatically. Let me create a few controls. Let me create a simple label here in the view did load. Is the first method which gets called right? Let me create a, my label equal to a label. This is the insular which I'm calling label class. Okay, uh, my label that translating auto resing must into constants equal to let's be false. This is the first thing which you need to do, and uh, my label dot frame equal to. CG, correct. Actually, what C, what is the frame? Frame is CG rect. CG rect and create object. To create that object, we are having here X position, Y position, width, and height. X position is some 20, Y position is some 20, width is some 200, height is some uh, 30. I am creating label. I said don't follow the default stuff. This is the label uh, frame, the width and height of the frame, and uh, background color equal to red, and uh, label is ready. What we need to do, we need to add this label on top of UI view, which is self.view, right? We dot add sub view my label. Very simple. If you take any control, same thing. The other controls also we see, the buttons also we see. Here it started at 20, 20. 20 pixels from the top, 20 pixels from the right. If you see the general graphs start from here, right? It is a positive x, positive y, positive minus y, no, so negative y, negative x in our general graphs. But uh, here the coordinate system start from top. This is the x position, uh, this is y position, this is x position. I put uh, 50x and uh, 40y okay 50 pixels away from the left side that is x and 40 pixels from the top 40 pixels from the top let me give some uh, 100 okay 100 pixels from the top 50 pixels from the uh, left now, what I want is, uh, I want to cover the entire size from here to 
here i want to entirely cover now what we can do is we can use the view size right whatever view size is there view is also having a frame dot frame dot size dot width the view width i am taking okay and expression is zero now this expression take 20 remove 40 means 20 from the left side 20 from the right side i am removing 20 from the left side 20 from the right side okay this is how you can use the view existing with the self-plot view this is self -plot view, which is part of ai view controller okay this is how we create con uh, controls programmatically create the object and add it to the sub view since this we have not created because uh, once you drag and drop on the user interface those are already allocated those are already allocated and added to the self dot view already added to the view on top of view only we have all these things right okay added to the self dot view if you want to create something programmatically these are the steps which you need to follow if you do not give any kind of frame the uh, view will not be visible this is a template any doubts here action sheet alert controller label tomorrow we take the next session tomorrow where we deal with ui table view e with talks are mali chapara with a view dot frame dot size minus 40 yeah please rejoin width i want to take uh, the view width i have taken view width when you take view width it starts from zero right? it starts from here and it ends here like assume that if it is zero, if you take width is complete with no issue, it completely occupies. I want to give some space here 20 here from 20 here.